Hey everyone, this is Liz Yang for Liz's Fashion Diary. And if you're new here, I welcome you. Thanks for making the time to watch this video. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back time and time again. I appreciate it, it means a lot. So today I have seven outfits for you and it's all fall outfits. And I just really hope this will encourage you to just dig into your closet and find pieces that will work together. Um, I didn't buy any of my pieces. These are just things I had in my closet. So yeah, learn to appreciate your closet and you know, shop the closet. It's always fun to do that. Um, but I will be doing a fall thrift haul, hopefully sometime soon. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for the cozy weather, just being comfortable, snuggling up to my cart again, drinking the pumpkin spice latte. Let me know down below if you're all about that because I am too. But all right, let's just get into it. All right, so just me here again. I just wanted to touch base that this outfit only has six, I mean this outfit, this video only has six outfits instead of seven. So I think I just mislooked it and totally forgot about one of the outfits as I was recording, so I do apologize. Um, but yeah, uh, enjoy the six outfits. I hope you like them. And again, I will make sure I check on that next time. A lesson learned. <laughs> All right, so for this first outfit, I'm pairing this pink turtleneck with the pink plaid pants. It's such a perfect combination and it really screams Elle Woods in so many ways. Comment down below if you love watching Legally Blonde movies because I do too. I'm toning down the pinks with this beige or neutral trench jacket. It's so very feminine and cute but at the same time you won't feel like the world is staring at you because you're wearing all pink. Trust me, I've been there. So this trench jacket is a perfect balance. And now I'm pairing these white ankle booties that adds onto the whole chic look. And so yeah, I really just love this whole look. The pink bag really just adds on the finishing touch to this outfit. Although there's some neutral colors involved, this outfit is still so fun and dreamy. Who says you can't wear pink during the fall times? You sure still can. Romance trends are continuing on into the fall time and I'm all for it. I love this trend. Everything from the ruffle sleeves to the bell sleeves. So I'm pairing the ruffle knit sweater underneath the black summer dress for that layered look. Mid to summer long dresses are a perfect fall transition outfit. Even when it's chilly outside, my legs would still be warm. To add more shape to this outfit, I'm wearing a belt to cinch my waist. I like that the belt adds as an accessory as well. The gold really stands out from the neutral color palette we have here. To finish it off, I am adding my pointy toes, lean back heels to add on to this dressy fall look. The last thing to add to this look is this yellow mustard bag. It adds such a pop of color and makes this outfit a whole lot more interesting. Who loves plaid? Because I do. I love these pants for two things, the belt and belt, and that it kind of have a paper bag style at the waist. It already has a lot going on at the bottom, so I'm pairing it with a plain white t-shirt. To add more color to the top area, I'm bringing in this brown suede jacket that I absolutely adore and is so excited to wear. Fun fact, I used to hate wearing this color because it reminded me of poop. I don't know why, but I guess it was all in my head. Now I love this color and I can't live without it. So I'm tucking the hem of the pants in these booties for that taper look. It creates an edgy look and because I'm short, instead of rolling it up, I can just hide them in the shoes. It all just worked out perfectly. Lastly, I added some vintage touch with this bag that I thrifted a long time ago. And voila, there you go. what I call a casual and comfy outfit. I love just how cozy and warm it looks. So I paired this beige sweater with little heart details on it. I wish you could see how them up close. They're so cute. I then paired the top with my white granny pants that I thrifted a while ago and they are seriously the most comfy pants ever. 
Um, to really add on to the casual look, I brought in this jean jacket. I like that it's no ordinary jacket. It has a bit of a distressed look to it. This sweater looks like it's just hanging there, so I'm tucking it in to spruce it up a bit. I then added these plaid booties to add more character, and then I finished it off with my favorite bucket bag. This outfit was so much fun to put together. I love the pop of color and the flow of it. Yellow mustard is the perfect color for fall. You'll for sure see me wear more of that color this season. I love the satin feel of the skirt and that there's a pattern to it. The combination of the yellow sweater and the skirt really brings a whole lot of fun and character to this look. I paired the whole look with a black hat and because I love heels, I'm pairing it with the pointy sleeve back heels, but it can be paired with booties or tennis shoes too. You already know by now that I love a good pop of color, so I added the yellow mustard bag to complete the outfit. Our last outfit here is a basic outfit, but I will be adding onto it so you'll see that small changes makes a difference. I'm pairing this basic white tee again with these mom jeans. I added a belt as an accent and neck scarf to add more interesting detail to the neck area. I then added the black hat along with the chiffon trench jacket. This jacket just really brings the outfit to a whole other level. Now it looks like I tried harder to make this outfit look good when really I didn't. I completed the look with these white sneakers for my comfy vibe, but again, it can't be paired with booties or heels. And that is the end of my video. Thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I can keep doing fall outfits for you this upcoming season and just similar videos like this. And yeah, become part of the Diary Sisterhood by subscribing. I, again, appreciate y'all. And I, yeah, I wish you a wonderful rest of your week. Bye.